congratulations on the fight. Great knockout. Thank How's you. Feel? Feels great. Feels great to be able to do it here in my own hometown. You know, um, it's 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 very hard to explain. Like it's the elation I'm getting from it. You know, I've been my whole life born and raised here in Manhattan, walking past the building, and to be able to go from looking at it from the outside to be able to step inside and compete and put up a performance like that is just feels like a dream come true for me. I'm sure, yeah. you guys have both been veterans for a long time, but both two organizations. How has this fight not happened before? Yeah, I'm surprised it hasn't already. Um, one way or another, I felt like he, you know, him and I would have crossed paths. You know, so it's kind of funny that it would have been tonight. Right. Uh, Aiden surprised you by the fight and caught guard on him by anything he had to offer. Not necessarily. I mean, Ben Saunders is Ben Saunders, you know, on, on record and all his fights have you watch, you know. So uh, we train pretty much for his style. I knew he was going to, from the inside, try to work his clinches, and I was anticipating it, and I had an answer for that. The height differential, did it help to, to land the punches in the clinch? Yeah, it did, because when you're taller, you tend to, you know, bring your head down. If you're clinching over, you go under. I was looking to go over or under or work the body. That was the game plan. How good does it feel to have that? You did the you had the Usada issue, but you were vindicated. Yes. Um, coming back here tonight, this is supposed to be what you waited for for a while now. Right? Yeah. This. I mean, it feels like it came full circle. You know, I was given, I was basically given a, a gift from God. You know, to be able to get a second go at this, it's not an opportunity most people get. So I'm very happy that Dana White, you know, gave me the opportunity to fight tonight at MSG. Do you have an update on the lawsuit? Because I know you're suing them, right? Yeah. Do you have a, can you tell us any more about that? I can't. You were supposed to be on the the first ever card here. Yes. Does it feel like vindication a little bit now that you get you came here and you got you got this win? I mean, you'll never get that opportunity back. There's nothing unlike, you know, it, it, there's nothing like that first, you know, the first ever UFC in New York City. So that's an opportunity I lost, but I don't look back, man. I look at the positives of everything. You know, things happen for a reason. That's my belief in life, and it get no matter what happened, it gave me the opportunity to fight tonight. And what happened happened. You know, you were just watching on your teammate Julio. Yes, blood everywhere in that fight. What's that like when you're when you're watching your teammate like that and his blood gushing and it's and it's kind of a crazy fight. It's hard, man. I, I don't I don't know if I'm more nervous for me fighting than I am for watching somebody else. You know, it's very it's very easy to be a spectator of the sport, but the second you know the person that's in that cage, it's it's very it's a very different feeling. It's just nerves. And you, know? you guys have a ton of uh, teammates on on this card too. Yes. Her, Shane, we just saw Shane a few minutes ago. Yeah. Is that difficult? Uh, all you guys fighting on the same card? No, actually, it's very beneficial, especially during training camp because there's such a high level of intensity, you know, back at our camp to uh, to fight. There's a lot of energy going into it, and we motivate each other too. So it's good to have more than one person, you know, in front of your team competing the same night as you. It's been a few years since you got a win. You've been out of action for a long time. Uh, Getting a victory like this, what does it do for your career? Where do you feel like you fit into this weight class? Um, best way to... You know, to make up for lost times is to have is to put out a performance where you finish the guy, the guy you know, for, uh, try to knock him out. But I don't I don't think I'm there yet to be able to say that I deserve top 10, this, that, and the other. You know, all I know is i got to just keep putting out performances like that, work my way up the food chain, and little by little I will be a top 10. Whose beard is better, you or Burgos? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I'm not a very good judge. Look at mine. Mine's terrible, so I'm not really sure. rego has got a nice one. It's like nice and fat over here, so I don't know. You sound a little but, bit But it's, 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 this is going. I do it just ritualistically for every fight. I always grow out a beard for every fight, but um, I don't know. I think, I, I think I'm going to go back and ask Shane now. We're going to go around and ask everybody. Me and Shane. <laughs> beard off? Yeah. <laughs> do you think uh, you know, with the knockout win and the you know, signs off, I'm happy with the knockout. At the end of the day, it's it's about finishing your opponent. You know, whether it's a 15 minute war of attrition or if it's you know a few seconds in the first round. However it happens, the sooner the that the sooner you do your job and you get out of there, the better for me. You know. Wake up was probably the easiest wake I ever had. I worked with uh, Lockhart and Leith for this fight, and honestly, it was one of the best wake cuts I ever had. Any idea who you want next? I'm sorry? Any idea who you want next? Whatever Dana White says. Man. I'm just here to do my job and train hard and whoever they put in front of me. That's all I'm looking forward to do. Like I said before, I'm just going to focus one fight at a time, work my way up the food chain, and whoever they put in front of me, that's who, that's who I'm going to have to get through in order to make it to the top ten.